Good morning. So my car doesn't really give me the space. Wow. Doesn't really give me the space to ooh, to put my phone safely and I'm driving so I'm not really be try trying to fiddle with this. But I just wanted to <laughs> Alright y'all, this is where we're gonna be at for right now. I'm sorry. Footage looks crazy, but whatever. I gotta pay attention to the road, that's priority. So I just wanted to, you know, set the tone. Today is Thursday, the day of the Thorny Park trip. I'm on my way to the hotel first just because I figured, you know, might as well just see if I could do Use the, the left two lanes to continue on to Pennsylvania. Sorry. See if I could do the early check-in and if they say okay, then all right, cool. Then I just go ahead. Continue. And, okay. <laughs> then I just go ahead and do that, get myself a In 19 miles, take the exit to merge onto store All right. Yes, I wanted to do the early check-in and then, you know, if they allowed me to, then I would want to just go ahead and just get a little situated because if I went straight to the park and then went to the hotel after, I don't want them to be like, oh, you're late for your check-in or something like that, you know? So I figured it's better just go ahead, get situated, and then I could go about my business for the rest of the trip. For the last couple of days, I've been kind of excited about this trip. Not so much nervous, thank God. Just a slight bit of nerves, like, wow, we're really going to do this. We're going to see what happens, that sort of thing. But, like, not letting it marinate too much. Like, I didn't even, like, pack and then put my stuff in my bag until last night. Like, I was literally procrastinating. It was like, oh, yeah, I got this trip that I'm, <laughs> that I'm doing. I don't know if it's because I'm going by myself, so I'm not, like, coordinating with other people to kind of give me that push of motivation to be more prepared but it was kind of like okay it's my own trip so I'm going on my own type timing all right cool um so yeah y'all get to see my beautiful hairy arm love it <laughs> or the glare sorry about that but it is what it is until I can figure things out this morning my mood was kind of like eh. I think I just didn't get enough sleep and I was like oh boy <laughs> um but also like i don't know the mood in the house because right now i don't live by myself i live with family the mood was kind of like and i feel like um as i was leaving my family wasn't really that enthused like i mean it could just be they have their own stuff on their mind that sort of thing those sort of things could be contagious so it kind of brought my mood down just a little but that's something i'm working on right like where you know someone else's energy might be low but that doesn't mean my energy has to be low i have every reason to be in a good mood i woke up i was grateful i prayed thanks for the past days and thanks for the upcoming days right i'm trying something new and it's better to go into it with positive energy versus negative energy this is like the very first time i'm doing a trip like this and I just prayed for, you know, it to be the start of a beautiful thing for me to have solo trips. And I'm proud of myself for just trying it. There's a quote I saw, I think last night or so, kind of saying like, you know, or even this morning, I think it was saying like, your fear is your limitation or like what you fear becomes your limit, you know? And so you have to like push, basically like push past your fear so you don't limit yourself. And so it's like this, like I'm afraid to do something as grand as going to an amusement park by myself but like I gotta push past it to open the door for more so I'm not just stuck at that fear you know I like I said I've been wanting to do Dorney for forever and I'm tired of waiting on people and life is passing me by they're doing all sorts of other things they want to do whether it's with or without me and so it's like well why why am I waiting on them you know like I gotta do what's for me. If it works for me right now in this moment, then I wanna make it work for me, make it happen. You know, so that's kinda where I'm at. And, you know, as I'm going towards my destination, thankfully it's a familiar area. Like, I think it's all a good place to start for like your first grandish solo trip. Um, and there's a, I think there's a lot of ways to try to see it um, or to like help feel better about it. One, starting with somewhere comfortable 
somewhere you're familiar with, just so you can get comfortable with yourself being alone in that area. And then secondly, just trying not to think about it too much, just see it as like things to do. Like, all right, now I gotta drive there and I gotta set up at the hotel, then I gotta get there and I gotta park, then I gotta, you know, show my ticket and I gotta find a locker. Like kind of see it like that versus like, oh my God, oh my God, it's just me, it's just me. Oh my God, oh my God, all day by myself. <laughs> <laughs> like just see it like that or even in a fun way be like all right I'm gonna make this a challenge if anybody asks it's just a dare that I'm committing to whether it's for yourself or you could pretend somebody dared you to just go to an amusement park by yourself and you're like all right bet challenge accepted watch me work I'm gonna have a grand time on this dare like you know like to to work up your courage I think that's those are good ways to look at it and then when all else fails and it's safe a little liquid courage which i brought on board just in case i was feeling like i needed to be honest like i partially want to enter the situation like fully sober just to see how i handle it how i internalize it but at the same time i'm kind of like girl get on that <laughs> get get a little something because once you get there you'll be like dang now nah, what but nah i think if anything i could just walk back to the car and have a little sip sip it'll be all right <laughs> um because i can you know i don't know how far i'm gonna end up parking that's the next part but hopefully it won't be too bad like today is kind of cloudy it said earlier that it was supposed to be kind of bright and pretty low, like one of the hottest days for the weekend but it's not really looking like that right now so but it's okay because i'm hoping that means less people will be there and it'll give me a chance to just be like right, i'm gonna go here i'm gonna pace myself without feeling the pressure of having to go online or so i feel like staying online like waiting in them for a long time will build up anxiety and i'd rather it be a short line so i get to where i gotta get to and that's it and i was kind of saying to myself the other day like one of the big hindrances for me would be bugs like because last time i went it was those scary lantern looking ladybug looking creatures that supposedly came from china uh yeah those were all over the place on people i was like oh my god oh my god so that is something i don't want or need <laughs> so as long as that's not there then i feel like i need to reward myself in just in exchange for that compliance i need to then push through and just go on these rides and do what it do so okay so i'm on my way and you know we'll keep the video going as i get there okay ready all right, so I'm almost at the hotel. I'm just checking out like the restaurant options as I'm driving by. Obviously it's basic fast food. <laughs> um, but I see me a little Dunkin' Donuts. Could get me a good hash browns. I see me Burger King. So I'll be set for breakfast if need be, or if I just need like some, I'll be set for that. And I see me a Sheets. So, you know, gas, a little convenient. And they be having some bomb like chicken sometimes. So I definitely am looking forward to that. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. We're here. I'm already intimidated just because I see people. <laughs> Y'all, the social anxiety is kicking in. It felt, it felt fine until I actually saw people that it's like, ah, oh, dang, damn. But it's all right, it's all good. I think we're gonna have a great time, y'all. I just gotta find the entrance. How the heck do I get out of here? It's a little confusing. I think I've seen this in the reviews. They said um, it's a little confusing to get around. Okay, y'all, so I just entered my room. I'm not even gonna lie. Well, we'll get to the room, but the hotel lobby itself felt kind of underwhelming like the parking lot is nice it's definitely a lot of parking spots it's a lot of space at first i had to think like is this the hotel because it didn't really give like hotel vibes from like the entrance per se and then the lobby is just kind of like i'm not explaining but it's definitely underwhelming so i entered my room and i will say like i am having a hunch they probably didn't clean it that well because as soon as i enter what do i see looks like a a gum wrapper if i could easily spot it when i walked into the room and y'all might have overlooked it what else might you have overlooked sorry i'm looking on the ground because it looks like there's something on the floor 
See that? Y'all, is that a bug? Y'all. Oh my god. Y'all, it's a bug. Y'all. <sighs> Sorry. My foot is on it. Because why is there a bug right under the bed? H how did it get in? What else is hiding in here? Those stain marks. I don't like to see shit like that on the bed because that makes me feel like it's, um, it wasn't cleaned, it wasn't changed, or that's from bed bugs. <sighs> I haven't checked the bathroom yet, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Yeah, I had to open it like that because, what? I, I was expecting it to be bigger in here. Mm. This towel looks used. That bag looked dusty. This is how I set stuff. Because, like, this is where people got to sleep. This is supposed to be their next best home. Like, I get it, you got to do it for millions and millions of people, but, like, cleanliness is key. I want to know how that bug got in here. I don't know if it's from somebody cleaning because I'm on a third floor. So it's not like I'm on the floor by the entrance for both to just be flying in and out. Lord. Y'all, I don't know. I already paid for it, so it, it is underwhelming. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. And I wanted a shower. I hate tubs. Tubs are gross. Look at how it's sticking to the. I guess. At least I have decent space, so hopefully the curtain won't be trying to stick to me in here. Because that's the whole point. You want to feel like you can relax. You don't want to be like, oh, I can't wait to go back home. But like, no. You want to enjoy yourself. So, to me, it's like, if I was just clean, we can make it work. But they threw me off with that gum wrapper and that bug. I'm about to go pick it up now, y'all. I'm very scared. I'm scared to see the toilet, y'all. <laughs> oh my God, it's a bug, y'all. It's really a bug. Its juices are all up in here. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm seeing, look at that, another bug. Guys, this looks like a bed bug. I don't play that shit, so let me see if there's another room. I changed my room. From what I recall, when I looked up a bed bug, it's tan. And I know they're not really usually out during the day, but maybe that one was dead. So I was like, no. I went down there, I was like, hey, is it possible to change the room? And she's like, what's wrong with it? And I was like, well, there were bugs kind of surrounding the bed. And she was like, I wouldn't trust it either. And I'm like, exactly. <laughs> it's a king bed, which is fine, because it's just me. I don't care about all that, as long as it's clean. Like, my thing is clean and no bugs. That's. That's the request. It's, it's crazy, because first of all, the lobby stinks. Secondly, the first room kind of like smelled weird and it was super cold. And I was like, it does not need to be this cold. This room smells a little weird, like somebody was just in here and it's hot, <laughs> but whatever. As long as it's clean and there's no bugs, we're good. All right, yeah, so here, lights on. At least this bathroom door is open, so it's not as scary. Last time I didn't check the toilet, so let's just do that and get those for it. Okay, that red looks old, so yeah, won't be using that. Again, disappointed with the showers. I think that is kind of a, I'll say desire for me. It looks a little crusty, giving mold, and is that fucking blood? Jesus. Y'all, do y'all see that? I have my wipes, so cleanish. Thank God.
connected room. Right here. I don't like that. If I hear this shit rattling in the middle of the night, we're gonna have problems. But it looks like they were kind of smart about it, as in I can open my side and they can open theirs, but they can't open my side unless I open my side. But I've never had that experience before, so that's a little creepy. This is exactly why I was like, you know what? Let me check in first, get the room situated. So if I need to change it or something, all of that is done beforehand. Cause I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I get back, so. But I'm not seeing creatures on the ground like I did in that other room. When it comes to where I'm sleeping, I really don't play. Okay y'all, now I'm gonna put you away. I'm gonna clean the place down. About my disinfectant spray, I'm just ch -ch -ch -ch. and it's about to be 12, so I'm clearly getting to this park later than I wanted. But you know what? It's whatever. At least then I can come back, and the place is already kind of situated. I could go about my business. So, all right, I sprayed everywhere. I unfolded all the sheets, not all the way, but I sprayed it with my disinfectant spray. Sprayed it with some bug spray I bought. Sprayed the handle. Sprayed the fridge. My little liquid courage on me. Got my bag ready, wiped the tub, that was very scary. It's 12 o'clock, I really wanted to already be there by 11, but now I'm on my way. I will say too, it's a little weird because it's like I'm the only person of color around here. I haven't seen anybody else my race really yet, but it's still early. All right, y'all, we are on our way. 